insert the custom cartridge into the Sega. Connect the audio output from the Sega to your computer audio input. Then switch the Sega on and you should hear a piano note. The next step is to connect the Gen MDM interface to controller port number two and connect the USB cable. Once you've connected the USB cable, you should hear a series of notes. And this confirms that the setup is working properly from the hardware side of things. Okay, so now that my Gen MDM hardware is all set up, it's time for me to set up a live session. And so with my live session, the first thing for me to check is just to go up to live and preferences and make sure that my Gen MDM is actually set up as a MIDI output device. So under MIDI ports, under MIDI sync, I'm going to look down and find the output for port for Gen MDM and just make sure the track is set to on like so. And then I've just got one audio track here that I'm going to use for monitoring of my Sega output audio and I'm going to set that to input monitoring. And so that's just going to hear whatever sound we play back from the Sega. And then I'm going to create a MIDI track and I'm going to route the output of this MIDI track to Gen MDM and I'm just going to keep it set to channel 1. Now, channels 1 to 6 are our FM channels, and channels 7 to 10 are our PSG channels. So we've got up to 10 MIDI tracks or MIDI channels that we can use, and each of those channels is going to be monophonic. So now that I've set my MIDI output to channel 1 of our FM chip on the Sega, we can create a new clip, put down some MIDI data, and play back that MIDI data.